So it is the village man to get us underway. Someone from Northern Ireland who has been playing at a very high level over the last couple of years. And as a result, his results have started to show a two-time Northern Ireland Open champion, of course, which is his national title. I could be here all day talking about Fallon's different wins around the globe. So let's focus on what she's been doing a little bit more recently. Right now she's playing against someone who probably will be favourite in this match. And a 140 from Kyle leaves himself very handily placed in this first leg on throw. The question is, does he go for double 19 or does he split it? Double seven. Four. It doesn't get there. I get the feeling that he might have been going for a six for double sixteen there. Uh, Fallon pressurizes with a one forty. Not an easy double for Kyle now. And he splits Kyle after the side there. So maybe the pressure told from that one forty of Fallon's. Two at twelves. Only needs the one. A beautiful conversion of two one five and five darts from Fallon. Takes a break of throw at the start of the match. Maybe she's finding her feet. And she has had a little bit of experience playing online last week. Where she got herself a couple of victories and somewhat Blockbuster finish of 164 against Boris Koltsov, which uh, I know Boris appreciated at the time, but definitely didn't want him to hit it. She is noted for her heavy score and when she gets going. And the thing about Kyle and Fallon with their BDO experience is that they're used to playing very short format matches to start tournaments. So this should be very familiar. tail now, but only a hundred after that first 60 stars. He'll be disappointed with that. Uh, and Father makes a mistake there, leaving a bogey number. So that should be an invitation for Kyle to get right back into this leg. And a 1-2-1 will do the job. Fallon makes her money. Her approach play over the last couple of years has been quite incredible. She's pressurised the 1 2 3 of Kyle McKinstry who needs 54 in ball. 55. Doesn't get a shot anywhere close to a double. And Fallon for 32 needs falls. And she gets up with a third dart and denies McKinstry a shot. 2 0 to the Queen of the Palace. I'm not quite sold on that nickname yet. I know it's very apt, but we all call her Superstar. We have been calling her that since way before her Ali Pali heroics. But right now, she's the Queen of this game. Street maybe smarting a little bit from losing that first leg after missed darts at double. This game is coming towards what Fallon can easily win. She can maintain that 90 style average, which is what she did at Alexandra Palace in beating Terevitz and Mr. Sulevich. If Kyle can raise his average by maybe 10, that might be strong enough to get himself a result yet, but it's very difficult for him right now. Advantage McKinstry in leg three. On throw. Six leg. It was at this point in leg one that Fallon hit a big score to pressurise. 
She's not going to do it this time, and maybe it's the breathing room that McKinstry needs. Six starts from 141. Sixty. He's looking to get that 60 with the last start to set up that double, and he hasn't done so. And Fallon's back to pressurise. That might be enough. McKinstry only might, might only get a shot at the ball. He's not even going to get that. And a missed shot at that treble, 12, and should have really gone for the single to guarantee the bullseye. But it's Fallon who should go. It's Fallon who should go for the bullseye here. She will get one at tops. Uh, and she under pitches. Really will settle him down in the first leg. Still advantage, Sherrick. She will want to hold on to that throw of hers with everything she's got. And I know she'll want to get points on the board this evening, which is something that unfortunately Anastasia de Bromislova could not do this afternoon. But she's definitely not out of it for the four days for her to get points on the board. Consistency on the scoring now as the game has levelled out at 85 averages. But it's McKinstry who again gets six darts from that mid 100 range of a finish. 87. And he missed a single once more. No damage done this time, but he really will be psychologically bitten by a couple of missed singles so far. There's actually been three of them. Fallon gives him three darts of 49. And he misses the double by a big way and hits that big seven again. 33. Can Fallon take a Shanghai 20s? She can't. McKinstry can't afford those under-pitched shots. Can't afford to bust this shot. A positive shot, it is. It is, but it splits. It splits fours and gives more chances to Sherrick. More missed doubles for McKinstry. And somehow Sherrick doesn't get that bounce into the double top. Bad deflection. Double one for McKinstry. Two. It's become very infectious for McKinstry to miss doubles in this match and give Sherrick too many chances. Oh, and she gets there on the third dart, which will sting McKinstry even more. At this point, as a player, you will be throwing the averages out of the window and just hoping that you can get to the final leg and take the match by any sort of margin but McKinstry will be livid right now losing that fourth leg it's been very interesting having players play each other all across the world in the last few weeks of course Sherrick playing from Milk Keynes and Kyle from Northern Ireland. The beautiful thing about technology is that we can have these players these players play against each other in their own homes. We sincerely hope we're playing in big arenas very soon, but this has been fantastic to give you your dose of darts daily. Then 
Florida. Scoring from both has been exemplary in this leg. Sherrick needs a maximum really to pressurise. But the 140 will do. I get the feeling that maybe McKinstry needs to take this for his own confidence. Florida. Sets it up and again has to rely on Sherrick missing. No bullseye shot for Fallon. This is where McKinstry has come up short in a lot of the legs so far. He's got it this time though and he keeps himself in the hunt. If Sherrick had found a couple of key out shots in this match, she could have been home and hosed by now. She could have won this 5 0. No sign of anxiety in that voice of hers. Just looking to keep going. Keep that lead. Good switch from Fallon to get that 97 shot. We do, of course, have Dave Evans returning. One of the ever presents. Been playing for three weeks already. Dave Evans, he's up against Wolfie next. And then Fallon returns against Warby, who is dropped in the first game 5 0, but he will have learned from his debut performance and I'm sure will come back stronger. Thank you, I like that switch from McKinstry looking at the 17s. Went on 221 with one dart left. It's a more sensible switch than using the 19s. to leave yourself on 130 which is a favoured finish of the pros because you can miss a treble and still have a chance needs a 60 in the right corner she's got it just misses the bullseye and McKinstry's heart would have been in his mouth there will he get a shot at double He won't. Fallon needs double eight. Now fours. Um, Goes inside. And it's been missed chances for both players in this match. Again, the missed single from Kyle. Game shot, three darts. He manages to rectify it. Such a perplexing. Leg victory for Kyle McKinstry there, and I wouldn't be surprised if he was shaking his head, thinking, how is this 3-3? I think with his experience, he will say it. He only has himself to blame for only being 3-3. Getting the missed single from Kyle. Shot, three he manages to rectify it. Such a perplexing leg victory for Kyle McKinstry there. And I wouldn't be surprised if he was shaking his head, thinking, how is this 3 3? I think with his experience, he will say it. He only has himself to blame for only being 3 3. Most players who have played the night of the darts and indeed the icons league in the afternoon will say that their first match is always the most difficult one to get yourself a footing on the daily table and indeed the weekly table it was Wessel Nyman who won last week's league the night of the darts and it is his day off today so he's enjoying that but he will re rejoin us tomorrow very strong young player from the Netherlands. He's had lots of success over the last three weeks.
industry has not led in this match. But he could be leading in the next 30 seconds. He's in a very strong position now to get that lead for the first time. But he is pressurised by that 1-3-4 of Sherrick. Game shot, second dart. He'll be very, very relieved that that first dart did not go anywhere closer to that double 16 or indeed the single because it was a problems for the queen of the palace one two five only starting with 59 and mckinstry looks like he's sprinting towards that finish line to get what could be a somewhat unexpected couple of points after the way this match has gone but it's been there for the taking 43. Is there one more twist in the tail? Yeah. One dot advantage for Sherrick. It's been extinguished. One, two, three. Street is known for his 180 prowess. Hasn't come through in this match. There's been a couple of shaky treble ones in there. But one, two, three was good enough at that point. Toe to toe stuff. In leg eight. Sheriff's trouble 19 hitting in this leg has been brilliant, and yet again it comes to her rescue. But the 1 5 2 is for the match. Oh. Only just misses out. That second dart was well thrown, but just a little bit too fiery. And now Fallon, it's her turn to miss the single. She's got 21 there. Sixteen to save her skin. Uh, Fourteen. She hasn't done it. It's in the hands of the village man. Twelve. Two mismatched darts from Kyle McKinstry. It's been the tail of the tape for him in this one. A sherrick looks to save herself. done it by the finest of margins and McKinstry one more tens and a somewhat ironic laugh from the Queen. Inside double five for McKinstry and Fallon gets another poke at it. She gets it. It's 4-4. Four, four. Where is your money? Mine is firmly in my pocket. I have no idea where this match is going to go from here. But maybe... The winning of the bullseye, which again took a bit of time at the start of this match. Maybe it'll be key. Key for McKinstry. 100. 15 dart, you feel, should be good enough for either player. We may have to retract that because McKinstry has started so buoyantly in this final leg. of the treble 17 from Kyle McKinstry to leave 170. He can't possibly do that to finish the match, can he? He's got lots of time. 111 adrift, Sherrick. And McKinstry still has the advantage to throw on it. It's just been an excellent leg from Kyle. 
too strong. But it's not over yet. Okay. Get the feeling that maybe she needed a lot there. Got McKin Street. Comes up short on another match dart. And Sherrick has one chance for the match. That's in. So is that. Oh, Fallon, you've just come up short by two millimetres on a 1 4 1 for the match. And McKinstry breathes again somehow. And somehow he's won at five legs to four. What an incredible match at all. That really was. It could have gone either way, but it's Kyle McKinstry who comes through and gets himself a one leg advantage by a victory of five legs to four.